I had taken this little LCD panel out of a uh, out of something, and they're kind of fun to play with. You can push on them and get them to get them to look strange. They're, they're, the construction of these things, you can, you can, um, this, that's not what this video is about. You can look up the construction. Uh, they're sandwich plates of glass, and then there's material inside that uh, can change the polarization of light, and there's a polarizing filter in there, and things go in and they come back out in a reflective one. So there's kind of a mirror on the back. Um, and um, then when you, you know, energize them with electricity, you can get things to appear. And that's because the, uh, the top uh, piece of glass has indium tin oxide, ITO. And the ITO is a transparent conductor and it's patterned into the shape of whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to see. So if you want to have a, you know, seven segment thing, you would put little seven stripes on the ITO and bring them down to connectors, which is down here. You can't see them because they're transparent. Um, but then you can get it to do, um, you can get it to do, I don't know if I can, yeah, that's not going to create some static. Sometimes you can get static and light, light them up. But anyway, that's not what the video is about. The video is about a, a, something you may or may not know about. And when I first found out about it, I, I thought, what? <laughs> I just, it was a shock to me. Um, so, I don't know if it shows up on camera here very well, but there's, you can see two pieces of glass. So there's a bottom piece of glass and a top piece of glass and they're glued together. And, but there has to be a space in there. And then when you have that space, then you have to fill it with the fluid. And so uh, you can sort of see it. There's like something funny going on right here. Well, that's the opening. So there's a seal all the way around and there's this little opening. And then under vacuum, they suck the, suck the uh, fluid in there and then seal it off. And you can see a little, a little bump here. Well, that's glue. So they've glued in the glued shut the little opening that was there and the whole thing is now filled. Now, the, what this video is about though, is you have two pieces of glass. So here's two microscope slides and you want to put them on top of one another, but you want to have them spaced. Okay. And you want to have a very, very accurate space. Um, and so you would think you would have something around the outside, maybe a shim of type, some type. And then when you glued it down, that shim would provide the spacing that you need. Well, um, they tried that and it just didn't work very well. It was hard to control the distance across the whole thing. It might, maybe the piece of glass, you'd be expensive glass. It was perfectly flat. It might be bowed a little bit. And when you put that on here, then it would be different distances, especially with a big, you know, like your monitor, right? It's a big, big giant thing. It's hard to hold, con control that thickness everywhere, right? So, um, how would we do, how would we do these two pieces of glass? How would we um, put them together? So here's the magic. It's in my fingertips here, okay? We're going to, <laughs> we're gonna put salt. Yeah, this is big giant salt, just so it photographs well. Uh, it's coarse salt. But imagine you put salt or some other type of material, and then you put the glass and then you glued it down. Now, if your material that you put down not salt, um, was exactly the same size. So think of it as like little ball bearings or little glass, little glass beads. Okay. And those little glass beads would then hold everything perfect, perfectly the same distance everywhere. Right. And then you'd glue, you'd glue down the corners or the sides and everything. But those little particles in there would hold these two pieces of glass, you know, exactly the right exactly the right distance apart. Okay. And that's what they do on these things. And you can say, no, they don't. I don't see any little specks in there. Well, guess what? Those little tiny specks are very, very small. The distance between these two pieces of glass is very, very small. So, um, I'm going to put this under the microscope and we'll see if we can see them. Now, one side of the glass is going to be kind of smudged because I got my fingerprints all over it. And the other side of the glass is going to have that, that mirror, which is kind of very rough in this case. So it scatters light in all directions as well as just being a mirror. Um, and in between, if you can get your um, microscope to focus perfectly in between, you start to see little tiny little dots. <laughs> and those are the little spacers and they're in there. 
they are they they appear black here in this uh, uh, microscope, but they're actually clear. Um, they're like little little beads of glass, and uh, yeah, they're sprinkled around, and they're all there. They're just super teeny teeny tiny, and they don't interfere with anything. All right, just a fun little uh, fun little fact that you may or may not know. Um, it's amazing.